Welcome back to Thea and Aitana. Today we're going to be doing our weekly chakra healing video. I am in Tulum, Mexico and uh, at one of the resorts and we're going to try to do this as fast as possible only because I don't know if the Wi-Fi is going to let me. I mean the Wi-Fi has been pretty good but I just want to make sure I can upload the video. So I already pulled the cards and I'm just going to pick an oracle card for the reading. On a note but so far this week looks like bomb there's a lot of stuff going on this week um yeah there's a lot of stuff going on this week that i can see it's pretty beautiful i would say Ooh. so we have three cards that jumped out bottom of the deck being gratitude for the world but we're gonna talk about these after but we're gonna start with the root chakra for the root chakra we have the page of swords and for the root chakra being the page of swords there's a lot of pages in here we also got the uh, page of pentacles for the sacral space there's a lot of initiation going on this week there's a lot of fresh energy um fresh ideas it's almost like becoming unstuck bottom of the deck being the hangman the seven of swords and the wheel of fortune meaning that some of you guys this like for this week are tired of the stagnancy and you're really taking control um this week which is really cool it's cool to see because we have been struggling with you know making stuff happen making decisions getting stuff done it's been like a very stuck energy and it hasn't been good so it's good seeing this um for you guys but for the root chakra there's a new idea that's being planted there's something there's a fresh energy they say there's a um a new vibe kind of a new mental thinking a new thought a new like new creativity it's just a lot of freshness like a breath of fresh air in the root space it's like planting a new seed of fresh thought um that you want to be grounded in and i can see that with the with the sacral space being the page of pentacles there is something that uh, something that's being kind of watered down and being kind of nurtured into growth there's a lot of um planting that's happening this week when I'm not really surprised about this because there's a nurturing aspect with cancer season it's emotional um, movement it's, emo it's emotional connection it's emotional drive it's, it's all about um, being emotionally tied and consistent to what you're doing because um, it's still carnal energy so it's about getting stuff done emotionally connecting to stuff emotionally wanting to um, have that fulfillment in, on an emotional level so we have the page of pentacles here having that like what, nurturing like that sacral space um making sure we're taking care of ourselves physically as well and how that affects us mentally how that affects what we're doing how that affects the um uh, the things that we're trying to get done the um like our self-care like all of the things that it could like affect how it does it why it does it um, how we're seeing results but ultimately this is like fresh energy which I love now for the solar plexus we have the two of swords which is beautiful because again willpower is the solar plexus so seeing the two of swords in reverse is beautiful because you're basically not trying to be stuck no more like there's an energy of we can't do this we gotta we gotta move we gotta make stuff done we have no ideas happening we have new new things that we're excited about um, happening um, and this is like great energy to have for just movement for um just just to elevate yourself because this is also a connection back to your intuition and that's what cancer rules as well because it's ruled by the moon there's an intuition we're like looking at it we're going with our feelings we're going with the vibe we're working with the water that's behind here we're working with the moon we're doing all of the things that we need to do to get stuff done and again it comes into play in the next card because for the heart chakra we have the king of cups so some of y'all peoples are feeling good this week there's a level of um connection this week um on an emotional side we're feeling very confident and strong with the decisions we're making um with our self-care practices this is like a really bomb week let me tell you um we're feeling like we are taking back control we're feeling like we are uh, have let go of toxicity on an emotional level things have um that have not been trying to work with us we're like cutting off there is uh, a lot of healing that is coming this week on the heart level it's like we're, we're nurturing ourselves the way we've always wanted to be nurtured so we're seeing a lot of productivity coming out of that nurturing of ourselves so it's definitely very beautiful for my peoples who are in relationships or not even in relationships you're having a really good week 
um, just interconnecting, feeding each other, um, that emotional energy this week. For my people who have not or who are not with somebody, you might actually connect with someone who is on that nurturing level, um, whether in a romantic sense or just for guidance. Um, spiritually, you might see that come into play this week, like getting nurtured in the moment from someone who's just in their zone um on the emotional side now for the third for the third chakra we have the knight of wands so there is we're like speaking passion into existence this week and i can see that because we have a lot of goals happening which is great it's nice to see you guys not being as stuck as we have been for a while so there's a lot of like like journey wise we are focused we're clear we're go headed towards things with passion is like that carnal push that emotional push is really cleansing sometimes you need just need a spiritual bath cancer season is a spiritual bath astrologically right now that's what it's doing it's really cleansing us it's just like okay new vibe new me who this who you like let me just open up the, the door to something else let me just relax let me just be here be in the space um but it's gonna whatever i'm doing is gonna take me to the next step that's what, what we're focused on so there's a lot of passion being spoken there's a lot of um like a new wave of yourself um the way you speak about yourself there's just so much passion so much there um watch a lot of what is being said as well because you're gonna find a lot of messages that um it's almost gonna be like oh that's why that happened this is why this happened you're gonna see that a lot this week um there's a almost like a full circle like you finding out why that had to happen before and now you know why it was like a that's i can see that happening this week for the third eye we have the devil um which i don't see this as a bad thing as far as this week this is just refocusing on the the root chakra um because of the third eye you have to understand the, this is the capricorn card okay so when we may be stuck sometimes we're also like workaholics we also get stuff done we have goals we have milestones we have the mountains as we always you know that's our signature thing we over here is always on a mountain there's always a goal there's always something to get done so with Capricorn in the third eye there's a new thing getting planted getting solidified which I can see in the root chakra so this is not a bad card for the third eye this is just letting you know that Saturn and Capricorn and all these Capricorn placements that's happening is you're leading up to that that transitioning phase all of the eclipses that we're that we've been having in Capricorn that we're going to be having in Capricorn this year there's a reason and a purpose and it's to solidify you into something else and the fact that you're kind of working with it by planting those new seeds is going to be for the next thing and you can see that there's a there's a level where you could like okay i can see this be in my life i can see me grounding myself in this i can see taking this new job this new opportunity opportunity that just came through i you know what i can see myself doing this and this is what this is, is the longevity this is a vision of groundedness of purpose long term this is long term vision um it's not just you know somebody is doing something no no, no. that's not what it is not for the third eye not this week this is about the things that you plan now you can visually see that cancer cardinal like magical juju energy you can visually see how it's going to come into play later now for the crown chakra we have the two of wands so there is a little bit more of a connection with your higher self this week there is a level of you're in this journey again the journey that we spoke about here you're in this journey you're taking the journey you're taking the next steps you're planting these seeds you're taking a new step a new direction you've already gotten to this castle you have gone through the lessons and stuff that went down all that stuff now you're picking something new now you're it's, it's a refreshed energy and it's like you're it's more aligned to your higher self as well with this being in the crown energy now for the oracle cards that we picked it's gonna be some woo woo happening this week because we do have the magic card we have transmute and we have earth which is beautiful because what this is telling me is that there's something that you've been asking for whether spell work wise that is really coming into play you're going to see the result of uh, something that you've been asking for whether it was a cleansing or whether you just literally just did a, did a spell to just like a, a road opener spell or if, if that's something that you want to do that's why that gratitude card came down right there that's that candle work um, if you did like some road opening work some cleansing work you're gonna see the really the results come into play but with the earth card again that's that Capricorn energy this is why it's not bad because this is a new groundedness happening for you for us this week there's a shift to something different um there's a new like planting of a new this week which is beautiful um so definitely work your magic um there's definitely some things getting transmuted this week there's a change it's a shift um and you're gonna feel it you're gonna see it in your life you're gonna see 
how um, you've asked for something, you're receiving something, there is gonna be like a, like that switch. It just happens, when it happens, it's beautiful. So yes, this is the weekly chakra healing video. I'm gonna have one uh, next week. I'm gonna probably do it from a different hotel or I'll do it the Sunday night before. Like I'll do it early and then post it on Monday. We'll see how that works. Because I'm gonna be here until the 9th. So I'm gonna be here for another two extra days. So it's a Tuesday. Um, yes, and then I'm back in New York. So just so you guys know, the Botanica Hall, the empties, um, the, which other one am I missing? I think I'm missing one. But those are gonna be a little bit delayed, obviously, because I'm in Mexico. I can't do the Botanica Hall, but there's gonna be a Mexico Botanica Hall when I come back. You guys are gonna see that, and then I'll do the other half of the month over there in New York when I go to the Botanica, because I'll probably just need to pick up a couple of things, nothing too crazy. But, um, yeah, so stay tuned for those. And yes, don't forget to subscribe, and also check out my Patreon, which I just set up once we get 15. Um, patreons then we're going to start doing weekly meditations and getting onto all the good stuff and i'll start posting the workshops and stuff like that um on there so make sure you check it out and thank you guys for all the new subscribers i'm very just ecstatic about it i'm so happy that we finally got through um and yeah stay tuned for more i'm gonna do another video after this so stay tuned for that that was gonna be fun and yeah i will see you guys in the next video bye